Hi, I'm Andy Wilson, and today I'm going to be talking about writing VoltDB apps in Node.js. So the basic thesis behind Volt is that there's this kind of one-size-fits-all approach that's existed for oh, the last, I don't know, 40 years or possibly as long as I've lived or beyond that, where you have this one database like Oracle or MySQL or Postgres or whatever, and they suit a general purpose need. And they do that very well. So they are good at um, inserts up to a point. They're good at selects up to a point. Um, they're good for analytics up to a point. But then you had this evolution that occurred relatively recently with the new SQL and NoSQL databases where they started to specialize in particular applications, so high ingestion rates or variable schemas and so on. That's where VoltDB kind of fits in. It goes into the very high transaction rates, transaction rates that in some cases the other more traditional databases cannot actually attain. The other thing is that uh, Volt right out of the box is clustering. So that right away gives you the capability to expand your cluster and expand it in a trivial manner um, to the point where it's just a command line operation telling Volt how many or how to configure the nodes and where to set them up or where to point them to so they can all initially coordinate amongst each other. It was originally based on this HStore academic paper. You can see the URL to it. And if um, I'm moving too quickly and you want to actually go through and see that particular paper, uh, you are able to review the webinar later on um, early next week. Um, now, Volt follows most of the traditional uh, database, well, database um, strategies. So, like, for example, select statements stay the same, um, insert, update, delete. Many of these statements are all the same types of things that you've used in traditional databases. Volt uses a subset of SQL, so instead of using the full range of all the SQL operations, you're using with a smaller set. Um, that's pretty reasonable considering that what our main goal is is to get the throughput and the latency, to get the latency as low as possible and the throughput as high as possible. And this leads to certain um, design practices that we'll talk about in a few moments. So a Volt DB transaction. The way it works is that we have um, well, first of all, it's committed upon success, which is kind of straightforward, um, and it's rolled back in case of failure. A transaction occurs entirely on the VoltDB cluster side. It is not managed from the application server side. So in a traditional Java app or uh, many other app, uh, platforms, what you do is you start your database connection you begin your transaction by actually invoking a start or begin transaction method, and then you would run through all of your uh, SQL statements and then uh, end the transaction by either ending it or committing the transaction or rolling it back. With Volt, everything is done on the server side. So the moment you issue out your transaction and you enter into a stored procedure or an ad hoc procedure, Volt will then immediately, upon success, commit that transaction. There's no capability for your client app to roll it back. You would have to manually do it. 